Hey kids, it's me again. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to deal with annuities where payments vary geometrically. Okay, let's start. Okay, in solving annuity problems with payments in geometric progression, we consider the following assumptions. First assumption, the payment period and the interest conversion period are the same. Okay? We have a constant interest rate. Of course, the payments are not level. Okay, why? Because the payments form a geometric progression. Okay, ganun naman yung pattern ng payments this time. Okay, so let's have a geometrically increasing or decreasing annuity immediate. So, let G be the rate of increase or decrease, okay, where G is not equal to I. Please check the practice exercises I gave you because I gave an example, a problem where G is equal to I, okay? Para makita nyo kung anong mangyayari kapag equal si G at si I. Now, let's consider this series of payments, okay? So, we have Payment of one unit at the end of the first period. And then, since G is the rate of increase or decrease, okay, 1 plus G is the amount payable at the end of the second period. And so on, okay? 1 plus G squared is payable at the end of the third period. Okay? So, this pattern will continue for N periods. Okay? Using I as the effective rate of interest per period. So to visualize this problem, we consider a time diagram here. So with this series of payments, we get its present value. Okay? So we do it one by one, like this. If you notice, this forms a geometric series, yeah? With common ratio equal to 1 plus G times V. Yeah? Because, di ba, yung 1 plus G times V, yun yung minumultiply mo to get the next term. Yeah? Okay. So, if you recall the geometric series formula, okay, this is equal to this expression. Okay? First term, di ba, this is the first term. Yeah? First term times 1 minus R raised to n. This is the number of terms. All over 1 minus r. And then, I'm going to write v here, this v here, in the denominator. So, we're going to have this one. Okay? Tapos, if you check what is 1 over v, it's 1 plus i. Right? So, you have 1 plus i here, minus 1 plus g, v over v, that will cancel out. Okay, so you're going to have 1 plus i minus 1 plus g. So you're going to have i minus g in the denominator. So that's why you're going to have this. Okay, ito, ginawa ko lang yung v equal to 1 over 1 plus i. Okay, so this is the present value of this annuity immediate. We don't have an aquarial symbol for a geometrically increasing or decreasing annuity immediate. So we simply use PV, okay, for the present value. Now, I have a tip here. If you recall our discussion on annuities with payments in arithmetic progression, I suggest that you memorize the single formula, the PQ formula, right? But here, I suggest, I highly recommend that you don't memorize formulas. Ang gawin nyo, if you're dealing with annuities with payments that vary geometrically, all you have to do is you recognize the pattern. Okay? And then apply geometric series formulas. That's it. Okay? Let's have some examples here. So, we have a perpetuity here, okay, with payments of 1 plus r, 1 plus r squared, and so on, okay? Starting at the end of first year. So clearly, 
we cannot use the formula that we derived kanina. So I hope we can get a nice pattern here. Okay, so here we're going to use 4% as our annual effective rate of interest. Okay, the present value is also given, it's 51. Okay, so to visualize this problem, please draw a time diagram here. Okay, we're going to find R. Okay, R is less than I. Okay, I is equal to 4%. Now, let's get the present value. Okay, so the present value is equal to 51. So, we do it one by one again. Okay, and then let's find a pattern here. So, the present value of these payments is given by this. Okay. Uh, if you notice, this forms a geometric series. What is the common ratio here? Okay, it's 1 plus R times V, right? Okay, so applying the infinite geometric series formula, which is A1 over 1 minus the common ratio, we're going to have this one, okay? So this is the first term, that's A sub 1, okay? divided by 1 minus, this is the common ratio, okay? This is equal to 51. Simplifying further, do you see V in the numerator? Isulat niyo yan in the denominator, okay? So, doing that, you're going to have this. And then equate this to 51, okay? You can solve for the value of R. And your R is equal to 2%. And yeah, 2% is less than 4%. Okay? So do you see? We don't use any formula here. Okay? We simply recognize the pattern and then apply geometric series formulas. All right? Okay, let's have another example. If you read the problem, okay, we have an annuity due. Okay? You know, series of payments at the beginning of each year for 20 years, okay? The first payment is 100, and then each subsequent payment through the 10th payment increases by 5%, hanggang 10th year lang, okay? And then after that, for the next 10 years, magdi-decrease naman ang payments by 5% from the previous payment. Okay, so we are going to calculate the present value of this 20 payments using I equals 7%. Okay, again, to visualize this problem, make sure that you can draw a time diagram representing this problem here. Okay, so this is the first payment of 100. So this is an annuity due. So that's why the first payment is a time zero. Now the second payment will increase by 5%. So that's why we have 100 times 1.05. And then magkukontinue lang yung pag-increase niya by 5% from the previous payment through the 10th year. Okay? So hanggang dito. Okay? Again, yung nasa time 9, ito yung payment at the beginning of the 10th year. So these are the first 10 payments. Now we move on to the next 10 payments. Okay, this is the first payment for the second set of payments. Okay, bakit ganito? Okay, so ito yung previous payment kasi 100 times 1.05 raised to 9. Okay, after this, magdi-decrease by 5%. Okay, so it's like 1 minus 0 0.05. So that's why we have 0.95 here. Okay? So ito yung payment made at the beginning of the 11th year. Okay? After this, magdi-decrease ulit ng 5%. So that's why we have this um, payment amount. Please check the pattern and then make sure that this is going to be the last payment amount. Okay, it's 100 
times 1.05 raised to 9 times 0.95 raised to 10. Okay? And then we get its present value using I equals 7%. Okay? So the present value is equal to, okay, etong first 10 payments muna. Okay? We're going to have this. Okay? So nakita nyo, hindi ko na siya inisa-isa. Okay? Diretso ang gamit na agad ng geometric formula. But I suggest you do it one by one. Okay? Para mas makita ninyo yung pattern. Okay? So after doing it, okay, you're going to have this one. Ito yung first term. Okay? Times 1 minus, ito yung R. Okay? This is the common ratio raised to the number of terms, which is 10, okay, all over 1 minus R. Well, ang common mistake dito, especially kapag hindi nyo siya sinulat isa-isa, what do I mean by that? Kapag hindi nyo sinulat isa-isa yung present value ng mga payments na ito, most students use 1.05 as the common ratio. Okay? Hindi 1.05 times V. Because nakakalimutan ng mga student na uh, meron pang discount factor ang bawat payments na ito because we need to get the present value of each of the payments here. Okay? So, kaya, ito yung nagagamit nilang R. So, kaya, I suggest you better do it one by one. You get the present value of each of the payments here and then you recognize the pattern, find the correct ratio, okay, and then apply the geometric formula. Now, let's move on to the second set of payments. So, the first payment here is 100 times 1.05 raised to 9 times 0.95. What about the common ratio? The common ratio is what? 0.95, yeah, times V, okay? Kasi yun yung minumultiply nyo to get the next term, Okay? How many terms do we have here? 10. Okay? But don't forget the discount factor V to the 10. Okay? Kasi kapag kinuha niyo yun or ginamit niyo yung geometric series formula, nandito pa lang kayo. Okay? So to carry all the amounts to times 0, you multiply it by V to the 10. Like this. Okay? So ito yung first payment. Ito yung common ratio. Okay, raised to the number of terms. Okay, and then ito yung V to the 10. Kasi ito yung magkikerry sa lahat ng amounts na ito, 2 times 0. Please get the numerical value of the present value of this annuity. Okay, ang pinaka-crucial naman sa isang problem solving like this is setting up the equation. And then after that, it's easy to calculate the numerical value. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. See you in my next video.